This video will explain how to measure DC voltage using a variety of batteries as an example with the MTP2322 Digital Multimeter or DMM by John Anson's Copyright 2014 All rights reserved In this video I'm going to explain a few very basic DC direct current voltage measurements using this multimeter. Before you start, it's always a good idea to check your meter leads and make sure that they're in good working condition and that they're safe. If you've been doing any soldering, sometimes the soldering iron touches some of the wires and, uh, and burns off some of the insulation, so you don't want to expose yourself to an electrical hazard. So that's the first thing that you will always do is check your meter leads to make sure that there are no exposed wires on them from using them around hot things like soldering irons. Next we're going to insert the meter leads into the multimeter and since I want to measure voltage my black will go into the COM or common jack. We'll just about leave that one there all the time and make sure you push it in all the way because sometimes if it's just up a little wee bit there's not going to be a direct connection with the little metal tip that connects inside the meter. So to measure voltage we're going to see here we have volts, ohm, hertz. This would be the correct jack that we're going to go into. Again push them in all the way. Before I start to make any voltage measurement I always like to do a quick continuity test or resistance check of the, mul of the meter lead. So I'm going to turn my multimeter on now I'm going to set the range function switch to the lowest resistance range. So here you can see I'm on 200. It actually says 200 up on the screen here. And I'm going to connect my meter leads together. So this is going to verify that my meter leads are good and that they're connected properly into the multimeter here. So you can see here I'm getting about, well let's say 0.8, 0.9, ohms that's pretty good so I know my meter leads are in good working condition and connected to the multimeter. So now I have to make sure my meter is going to be set up to measure the right thing so if I were to try to measure a voltage while I was set on the resistance function I could uh, end up causing a little bit of problems with the multimeter so make sure you switch it over to measure uh, voltage. So this is... Batteries usually come with the markings on them tell you what the model number is, what type of battery and the voltage of the battery. So here I have a 3 volt lithium battery. These are common in computers and many small portable electronic devices. Panasonic Oxyride AA battery. Extreme power. Wow. And if you take a look there's the model number. The nominal voltage is one and a half volts. The initial voltage coming out of the package would be 1.7 volts. Here I have a Duracell battery similar to the one that I took out of the multimeter. You take a look there's the model number and the voltage 9 volts. Here's a little bit of a different type of battery. This is an old EverReady battery it's 15 volts. There's the model number, number 411. The t battery terminals are on either side, so this side is positive, the other side's negative. If you look at it. I took this one out of a really old analog multimeter. In fact, you can't buy these batteries anymore, so I had to make my own little battery pack using five lithium batteries in series to give me 15 volts in a new little battery pack that I made. This is an old Energizer photo battery came out of one of the old uh, cameras that I used to have. And if you take a look right here it says it's a 6 volt battery and it's identifying this terminal right here as positive. 
There's the model number. Here's our old classic flashlight battery, the carbon zinc battery. Again, it's showing you the positive and negative terminal, so positive on this side, negative on this side, and it's also saying I've got one and a half volts in this battery. Now let's start measuring the voltage of some of these batteries. You have to remember black is negative, red is positive. So this is my little lithium battery. The top part of this lithium battery, it says it's positive there. So I'll just put the red lead there and on the bottom measure, connect it. And this measures uh, 3.4 volts, that's the initial charge on this lithium battery. Watch what happens if I go to the 2 volt range. Gives me a 1, so you have to make sure you select the correct range when measuring the voltages. So if I try to measure on the 1000 volt range as 3 volt, it does say 3 volts, but it's not giving me very much accuracy. So this is a 6 volt photo battery, so I should set my range to the 20 volts. 2 volts would be too low, 20 volts would be perfect, that would be my most accurate reading. So let's measure that. 5.79 volts, so this is slightly depleted. Watch what happens when I reverse the leads. Minus 5.78 volts. So we have to match the leads, red to positive and black to negative. So let's now look at this AA battery. They're traditionally around 1.5 volts, 1.69 volts. But look, at, I'm on a 20 volt range. That's not a very accurate range. I can go to the 2 volt range because the 1.69 is still lower than 2 volts. There's 1.700 volts. That's my most accurate range for measuring this. So this is a brand new battery that we have here. So remember I showed you the initial charge on that was 1.7, but the nominal voltage is 1.5. Let's take a look at this classic D-size battery, the carbon zinc. 1.621 volts. Let's see what happens if I go to the 1000 volt range. Again, that won't be very accurate. I'll get a measurement, but let's see what we get. 1 volt. So you can see we lost a little bit of our voltage measurement by being on the wrong range. Let's take a look at these 9 volt batteries. 7.3 volts. That's the battery I actually took out of the digital uh, multimeter when I replaced it. Let's look at this other one. 8.55 volts. So this is slightly discharged but still quite usable. So this is how you would measure the voltage, DC voltage on a variety of batteries. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching.